why we can't have nice things, why I can't have nice things. I just finally got through like my 51st take of this video. I wasn't even freaking recording. I can't see the screen. I'm using the back cameras. I've got this little yellow pen, which tells me why well, I just press this little button. Boom. And it's supposed to start recording. One in recording. Great. Great. Welcome to the channel. Chad's Budget Corner, where we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and get nothing done. Anyways, a couple weeks ago, I decided I was going to move my studio out to the garage. Here we are. So, it's going to be a work in progress. I got these really cool lockers, like I said, two weeks ago. And uh, they don't have any pizzazz to them. I wanted something that was going to pop, you know. You're not supposed to have stuff that's too distracting in your background. You didn't want people to focus on this. I'm ugly. Don't focus on me. Take a look around. I got Buddha over there, man. I got Buddha. Gold Buddha that uh, Jasmine got for me. Awesome. Fucking love that thing. So, say hi to Buddha. Anyways, uh, I say uh, a lot too. Somebody told me that. And I mentioned that in the last take, but it didn't take because I wasn't recording. So, anyways. So, here you go. If I say uh too many times and it starts annoying you, take a drink every time. It'll be fun. You'll be in the corner along with me. I don't drink. You can have fun. Get drunk on me. Blame it on me. I don't care. So, bought these for 30 bucks. Thought they were really cool. My wife was like, why are you buying lockers? What's wrong with you? Like, have we met? Then she was like, oh yeah. Okay, now I know. So I bought these lockers. Uh, moved all this stuff around in my garage. Needed some extra space. No, I didn't need any extra. I didn't need any extra. I didn't need these lockers. I just saw them and thought they were cool. So I was like, cool. I'm going to get some lockers and they'd be a cool backdrop. So cool prop, 30 bucks, whatever. Got them here. Uh, excited. They kind of look dull. And I'm not one to kind of leave things alone. So if you've seen any of my past videos where I painted cars, you already know. So today, I'm going to start painting these lockers but here's where it gets weird last weekend I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with the lockers and, well I don't want to do them black I don't want to do them just white I don't want to do just one solid color I want to do something kind of abstract what would be better than the Eddie Van Halen look y'all know what it is Eddie passed this week Last weekend, before he was gone, before I had any idea that he was sick, I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be cool if I did the Eddie Van Halen Frankenstrat black and white and red look on these lockers? So that's why I decided on. Spent a lot of the weekend watching videos on how people taped them up and how Eddie taped them up. And I guess he used gaffer tape. I don't have any gaffer tape, so it's going to be regular tape and it's not going to be quite as cool. But whatever. But anyways, I made that decision last weekend. I even texted my son Brandon. So Brandon, if you're watching, please comment down below and let him know that I did tell you I was going to be doing something really epic with him, but I wouldn't tell you what because it was going to be a surprise. Well, surprise, this is what it is. And uh, then this week we got the news that we lost Eddie. And when I say we, I think everybody, that if you're a rocker, how, how does this not hit you hard? I'm going to keep this part of it short because I don't want to cry on video. And why would you cry? Well, because he meant a lot to me as growing up as a kid. I wanted to be a guitarist. Um, I wanted to be Eddie Van Halen. I, he was my dude. Like, rap people, when, when they lost Tupac, they, that left a big hole. When Elvis died, that left a big hole in people. Eddie passed, that's leaving a big hole with me. Luckily, I've got some memories. Um, I have been able to get to at least one concert. I went to one concert. That was the 5150 tour with Sammy, and it was awesome. Had a great time, and I got to see my idol play guitar in front of me. And that solo, oh my God, that solo. Who? You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Yeah, there's probably better technical guitarists out there. Ingve Malmsteen, I grew up listening to him, loved him. Uh, Tony McAlpine, Steve Vai, 
you guys know who I'm talking about. If you don't know McAlpine, check him out. Probably some of you will know who Ingve is. Uh, he's a great guitarist, but he's kind of a dick. I don't know if he's worked himself out of that or not, but he's just kind of a dick. So I don't think he, he never really, he could have gotten way further in life if he wouldn't have been such a jerk. But anyways, we lost Eddie. So now this is becoming a tribute. I was really hoping that Eddie would see these lockers and be like, hey man, it's really cool, I'll send you a guitar. Some cool, you know, whatever. But it is what it is. Uh, so here is my Eddie Van Halen tribute locker edition. Now I'm going to pick up my little yellow pen that I use. So when you guys see this thing in my hands, because... My son asked me, what's up with the pen in your hand? I'm like, well, it's how I turn my videos on and off. So it's Bluetooth, and now I'm going to press a button, and the video is going to stop. And hopefully I'm looking in the right camera. This isn't as easy as it looks, guys. I know I make it look really super easy, but it's really, really difficult to be this great on video. Are you kidding me? Oh, it never stopped. I guess my little Bluetooth pen stopped working because it's only got like a five minute charge and I've been doing this for like 10 minutes. All right, so I managed to manhandle these stupid lockers out into the side of the yard. Uh, that way I could paint them without getting all the bikes and stuff over spray in the house. So, Basically, all I've done is I've just scuffed it up a little bit. Uh, if you ever go back and watch anything on the way Eddie painted his guitar, the original Frankenstrat, he uh, basically did it in his parents' backyard. A uh, little bit at a time. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can just because I need to get it done and out of the rain. Supposed to rain in a couple days, so I don't want it sitting out here and I don't want to keep tracking it back in and out. So, what they I believe what they've done, I've watched a lot of videos. I believe what they did was it was a, originally a black guitar. I'm not going to paint this whole thing black. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint where I want my black stripes. I'll paint that black and then I'll mask over that black and then we'll do the white base coat over that mask some of that off and then do the red following up so that gives you a little bit of an idea it doesn't have to be exact his guitar never did look perfect so this isn't going to look perfect either but it's going to be fun and it'll look cool and you'll get the idea so don't judge me let's speed this up here just going to put some random black marks on this thing and see where it goes all I'm using is some uh, Rust-Oleum Black. It doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't have to be perfect in any way. and locker
good enough for the black, I'd say. Okay, well here we go. I've got it uh, taped up a little bit. So you can see where the black is going to be. And now I'm going to uh, shoot it white. I'll be back. All right, guys. Well, I got the white down and uh, got my stripes to go over the white. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but this is a one-day shot, one-day deal. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't look too dumb. But here we go. All right. Well, now we got the red on. This is not going to look perfect, but neither did the guitar. So, but you'll get the point, I hope. So now I start to unmask. Well, here is the finished product. Da da da. I think it came out pretty cool. Really happy with it. Did this all in one day. So right now I'm kind of just waiting on the paint to dry up a little bit more before I try to manhandle it back in the garage and put it where it goes as the backdrop came out pretty good you pretty much either have to do something like this all at once and i was not trying to have really sharp clean lines eddie used gaffer tape um he used different kinds of tapes and if you look at the guitar itself it's got a lot of imperfections in it so I definitely wasn't trying to do anything super perfect but I think for what I've got in it which wound up being about five cans of paint so about 25 bucks I think it came out pretty cool so there you go there you have it. Rest in peace, Eddie. Love you, man. Love your music. Your music lives on. And uh, this will be in every one of my videos coming up from here on out. So if you want to see what this looks like as part of my background, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. My next video will definitely have it in the background. And... Uh, so there you have it. So there we go. Eddie Van Halen lockers. Rest in peace, buddy. Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Chad's Budget Corner, where we don't like cheap stuff, we like good stuff cheap. Today's cheap, inexpensive, and hopefully fun, and uh, this is dumb. You know, doing these videos is real. Uh, Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Chad's Budget Corner, where we don't like cheap stuff, we like good stuff cheap. Today's going to be a little bit of a different video. If you go back through some of my other videos in the past you'll see that I like to do some painting and uh, I paint cars and bicycles and whatever it's done <laughs>